Shalom, brother, sister, J.T. Lee from Coming Messiah Preparation Ministry. Several people uh, ask me about why Jesus died on Friday. There is example going on still nowadays in South Korea. Still nowadays in Korea, babies become two years old on January 1st. For the baby, even who were born a day before, which was December 31st, it passed only one day. How come baby become two years old? Korean babies become one year old when they are born. And they will have a one more year on the day of a new year, which is January 1st. Regardless from January 1st to December 31st, they all get one year. And the next year, first day, they got another one year. That's how calculating age system in Korea. The reason they do is from very similar in Bible because ancient time we don't have a zero so in order to count system number starting from one day two day or first day second day so basically one day is first day there's no letter for numeral value of zero in Hebrew the number zeros is in in the Bible. So let's look at the first number in the Bible. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 5 in King James Version, and God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Here day is Yom in Hebrew. The first word day because they have a two day in this verse. This day is daytime or daylight day. Second word day is 24 hours in modern term. So in Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, even people couldn't differentiate between daylight day or daytime day and day as the one day we usually speaking about. That's why they have to make it sure between two. First from first day here, in Hebrew, Echad, which is one, which is cardinal value, not ordinary value. So first is one instead of a first. For example, first in Hebrew is Rishon and this the first Echar was written in Genesis 27 45 why should I be deprived also of you both in one day same word Echar using first in Genesis chapter 1 verse 5 and one in Genesis chapter 27 45 because, in fact, the first day God created the world, but that first day in the Bible is one day. First day is one day in the Bible. Nowadays, first day is zero day in our term. So we learned the first day, it is not 24 hours yet, but still one day in the Bible. For example, I go to New York City from my house from middle of today to middle of tomorrow so it took one day yeah so one day but biblical term that is two days so you see the difference and then many people couldn't understand this so all the confusion star and they have a they have a theory of a Wednesday crucifixion Thursday for Thursday crucifixion. There are so many third days in the Bible. In Matthew 16, 21, and be raised again the third day. In Matthew 16, 23, 
and they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised again. In Matthew 20, 19. And the third day he shall rise again. In Matthew 27, 64. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day. In Mark 9, 31. He shall rise the third day. So there are so many other examples. Mark 10, 34. Luke 9, 22. Acts 10, 40. 1 Corinthians 15, 4. And more. It is another good verse to give you some idea. Direct Jesus were in Luke 13 32 in New King James Version. And he said to them, Go tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demon and perform cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. So he, Jesus, prophesy third day he will perfect in mean he will resurrect it transformed and the, in this verse it, say, it is clearly said today tomorrow and third day so today to third day is only two day but she said that is third day so friday is first day Saturday is second day and Sunday is third day. From day number one to day number three, it is two day in modern concept, but it was three days in the biblical times. And also not only third days, they have so many three days in, in the Bible. In Matthew 26, 61, and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and build it in three days. This is what witness talked to Jesus, talk about Jesus. In Mark 8.31, And he began teach them that Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. So th this is once again three days. So th in the Bible three days is same as third day. Wednesday is not the third day to be on Sunday. It is fifth day to Sunday because Wednesday if Jesus was crucified on Wednesday, Wednesday is the first day, Thursday is second day, Friday is third day, Saturday is fourth day, Sunday is the fifth day. After Jesus was resurrection, he met two of his disciples on the way wrote to Emmaus in Luke chapter 24, 21 in New King James Version. But we are hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, beside all this, today is the third day since this thing happened. Since this thing happened was since he crucified today, that day, Sunday, was the third day. You understand the third day concept? Because he was crucified on Friday, Friday, first day. Saturday, second day, third day on Sunday. Many people was cited three days and three nights for example of 72 hours. But let's look at the concept for the three days and three nights. Matthew 12:40. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights. In the heart of the earth. So three days and three nights equal to 72 hours. Let's figure it out. In the Bible, if day and night is 24 hours, why there is term all that day and all that night, which is in 1 Samuel 19:24, And he stripped up his clothes also and prophesied before Samuel in like manner 
and lay down naked all that day and all that night. Wherefore they say is so also among the prophet. The reason here all that day and all that night, this is truly 24 hours. If day and night is 24 hours, why is said that all that day and all that night? Look at verse in Psalm 1 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. So he meditate day and night. If you look at day and night for 24 hours, so he meditate for 24 hours. Is that that mean? Do you think? Here, day and night is not 24 hours. Here, day and night mean always, continuously. In Genesis chapter 7, 4, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. Once again, here is forty days and forty nights is forty consecutive days. In Genesis eight verse twenty two, in New King James Version, while the earth remain seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer and day and night shall not cease. Here, day and night is 24 hours, 24 hours shall not cease. Here again, this is not for 24 hours. Here, day and night is continuously. So three days and three nights is not only three days of daytime, not only three days nighttime, but three consecutive days. So if you understand this, this concept, it could be much understand why so many in the Bible, three days and three nights, 40 days and 40 nights, it all means consecutive day. It is not for three days and 72 hours. Another concept is high Sabbath, some people call annual Sabbath. They have a seven different high Sabbath in the Bible. The first Sabbath is the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the seventh day of a Feast of Unleavened Bread is second high Sabbath. Friday Passover make high Sabbath, and the seventh Sabbath is same day. In the Bible, the feast of the first fruit it should be the day after Sabbath. So it should be always on Sunday. But I believe Jewish people they don't want to keep on Sunday for the feast of the first fruit. Same as Pentecostal day, a day after seventh Sabbath. So it could be always Sunday. They don't want to keep it on Sunday. That's why they're making annual Sabbath, which is Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the day after that, that is Day of the First Fruit. But if any year, Friday Sabbath, Friday Passover, making Sunday the Feast of First Fruit. So that it will be same day, it will be fulfilled. So every day, even without looking for Jesus any day, the Friday Passover is always special. Like this year, year 2019. I believe next year is year 2022. So pay attention 22 because the, the number Friday Passover is always special. 14th day Passover, 15th day Feast of the Unleavened Bread, and 16th day Feast of the first fruit, in matching three consecutive days, either biblical way and Jewish current traditional system, it will it will fulfill same preparation day, both annual Sabbath and seventh Sabbath. 
So, so many time matching in the same day, a lot of time they have a reason to be. Let's go back to the name itself of Hebrew. The day starting from Yud Vav Mem. Ancient Hebrew mean is arm, nail, water, or blood. So day itself has the meaning. This is the day the blood, someone blood shedding by nail on the arm. The day itself, the meaning like this. Once a day, Hebrew called Yom Revi, meaning first day. The ancient Hebrew meaning head, house, arm, eye, arm. And Thursday, in Hebrew term Yom Hamishi, which is fifth day. Ancient Hebrew meaning is wall or fence, water or blood, arm, destroy arm. Here's a little bit, here's somewhat close to crucifixion. There were two arm destroy blood, but here wall. The wall is sometimes when you say the wall, something is beyond the wall, but it's not the same day. So this is mean the day before his crucifixion, Thursday. Friday is Yom Shishi, which means sixth day. Ancient Hebrew literally destroy arm, destroy arm. God sometimes make two times repeat, which is a confirmation. He was destroy arm and destroy arm. He destroyed right arm and destroyed left arm. Saturday, Yom Shabbat, the meaning is rest day, destroy house sign. When you look at it as a destroyed house sign, also sign is a cross mark. Destroy house with cross. This is the tomb's day. This is the resting day of Jesus before resurrection. So this is the resting day with God's presence. On that day, Jesus was rested. The name itself is destroy the house with cross. Sunday is Yom Rishon. Rishon is of course first day. Ancient Hebrew term is head first, head or first, leader or strength, destroy, nail, seed or son. So head leader, Father God, destroy his son by nailing. Right? Another word, first strength. So first strength means what? Resurrection. So in Hebrew term, Rishon, they have a meaning for resurrection. It was interesting finding. The Sunday is the first strength, which is resurrection, after destroy by nail to the sun, according to ancient Hebrew alphabet meaning. On the first day, God created light. Let there be light in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. In John 1, verse 4, 5, in him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Here is 1 John, in the beginning, that light, the light of man was what? Jesus. So first day, there was light, that light was Jesus. So first day, the Sunday, mean Jesus. So there's so many meaning of the first day of Jesus in the Bible. He was of course the first fruit, the real first fruit. So Sunday is not only first day, Sunday is also eighth day. Eighth day, eight in Hebrew is Shemini. Ancient Hebrew term is destroy, blood, arm, sun, arm. Once again, this is very interesting. If you know the meaning of ancient Hebrew alphabet, ace, this is very interesting. Destroy, blood, 
arm son arm from one to ten only one and two and eight has hebrew alphabet letter nun which is son so the hebrew name of a son is ben then literally bait is house or tent and noon is seed or sun so house sun is ben that's why first day second day eighth day is all special because they are related to son of god we already know first day and eighth day is sunday we know that is already special so second day why second day is special i believe it is related to rapture so i believe monday the second day is the rapture day of course i'm going to making more about eighth day and second day because there are so many meaning eighth day in old testament so the reason i'm making this video not because i emphasize emphasizing certain days this is what god talked to me in 2017 so on the way going to the work god teach me about sabbath day and the lord's day so church should not be divided due to the worship day because this is the fulfillment of god's character god himself is the first and the last the first day of the week is sunday the last day of the week is saturday that's why god allow certain people christian general to keep the first day sunday holy and to others like jews adventists of united church of god and others to keep the last day saturday holy because god is the first and the last because there's no reason to fight for the day because we are all one if you believe sabbath day is the holy day keep it that day if you believe the lord's day which is sunday is holy keep that day but there's no fight for it there's no division in christian community because we are in one in our lord jesus christ god bless you